Hey, where are you guys headed to? Don't you wanna hang out? Remember the last time when we missed the math class? Hanu has offered to teach us factors and multiples so that we don't lag behind. This is an important topic, John. Why don't you join us? Hey guys, I was waiting for you. Do you want to eat something first? Let's finish the lesson first and then we can all happily order food. In multiples of four. <laughs> so Bhanu, we wanted to understand what factors and multiples are. Hmm, this is a crucial yet super simple concept. Let's start with what factors are. You all understand division, right? Yes, yes. Remember we learned it last time at Sally's birthday party? If any one of you missed the lesson on division, head straight to our Basics of Division video. So, since you all understand division, factors are going to be simple. Factors are numbers that divide a number evenly. For example, the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8 itself. This means that when we divide 8 by either of these numbers or either of its factors, we are left with no remainder. This means that all the numbers by which 8 is divisible are its factors, right? Yes, Anna, you're absolutely right. So why don't you guys tell me the factors of 12? Let me try. Mm, since 12 can be divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 itself, these 6 numbers are its factors? Yes, that's correct, Peter. Let me tell you guys a fun fact about factors. All whole numbers except 0 and 1 have two factors, that is 1 and the number itself. This is because all whole numbers excluding 0 and 1 can be divided evenly by 1 and themselves. Now moving on to multiples. As the name itself suggests, multiples are the result of multiplying a number by another. For example, the multiples of 8 are 8 itself and then 16, 24, 32 and so on. You take any number and multiply it by 8, the product is going to be a multiple of 8. Easy, right? It means that all the numbers in the table of 8 are the multiples of 8, right? Like 8 multiplied by 5 equals to 40. So 40 should be a multiple of 8, right? Yes, John, you're right. 40 and all others in the table of 8 will be its multiples. This is super simple, Bhanu. Thank you for the lesson. I told you, Bhanzu's way of learning is simple. You all can try the worksheet in the description below and see how well you understood the concept. For more simplified math, book a free demo with Bhanzu. Until then, like, share and subscribe to the channel and join the Bhanzu revolution.